Hey everybody, how's it going? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and we have a free pick in KBO action for early Thursday morning, July 2nd, 2020. We'll get to that free pick in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. All right, uh, listen, free winner here last night. Hope they wish they all could win that easily. I mean, we played over uh, in that Dusan clash last night with Kiwoom, and uh, we were over the total uh, two innings into the game. You got to like when that happens. Also, a premium pick winner. We had the under in the Samsung contest. That came in for us also off to a winning start for the month in soccer. We just continue to win in soccer week after week, and we cashed one on uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, we tied Arsenal together with over two and a half goals, which brought that number down to plus a dollar five rather than laying a price. And uh, Arsenal, they took care of both ends of that for us. They won 4 0 over Norwich. So uh, just an excellent run in soccer, up about $2,600 for $100 per unit betters on this current run. Uh, as you know about Korean baseball, we are now 6 0 oh over the past 10 days in Korean baseball. I had a couple of the rainouts in there, which is, you know, usually we put out one game a day. Premium pick at DocSports.com, but there were a couple of the rainouts plus KBO's day off. So six games in 10 days. We won them all, and uh, we're up $3,000. $1,000 right now uh, for $100 per unit betters during this 6-0 run. We look to make it 7-0. I do have a premium pick for Thursday morning. It's available at DocSports.com right now. And by the way, it's a seven-star play. We've cashed 80% of these plays going back to late May, 4-1. But again, we'll be looking to extend this current run, a little bit less than two weeks, to 7-0 with this game on Thursday morning. If you want to jump on board, you got to do so by 12.45 a.m. Eastern time, right around there on Thursday morning, because that's about the time the game go off over at DocSports.com. So be sure to jump on board before then if you want to join me on this play for Thursday morning. Seven-star play of the KBO. We'll be back in soccer action. We've already got at least one game, maybe two, that'll be posted on Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. And uh, get to like the price on these. And again, we're just red hot on the pitch over the past almost, what, going back to late April now uh, with our soccer plays. So that's what's going on for me on Thursday and on Wednesday night. Go grab that seven-star play before 12.45 a.m. Eastern Thursday morning if you want to jump on board with me uh, as we look to make it seven in a row in the KBO. Free pick winner here last night was the over in the Doosan game. We cashed out. We're going to come back with another total, this time playing a lower scoring game, and it's the clash between Hanwha and Kia. And as I look at my uh, lines in front of me, 15, 16 books or so, uh, looks like under nine for the most part. I do see a nine and a half out there, uh, but again, it's you got to have a lot of outs to be able to find that nine and a half. So uh, looks like nine is what we're going to play as the under between Hanwha and Kia. Uh, that's the most accessible total as we speak. Uh, Warwick Southold has been pretty good for Hanwha. For a bad team, he's had a good season. He's had just one bad game, one bad outing in 10 starts on the season. And if you take that one bad outing out of the mix and only grade the other nine uh, starts in his 10, you'll see he has a 273 ERA and a 126 whip. And how about this? He pitched well in his last three starts, which came against the three best run scoring offenses in the league. Talking about Dusan, NC, KT. I mean, he was able to go out and pitch well three straight games against the elite level offenses in the KBO. Now he's going up against Kia and the level of competition when he's on the mound drops off a little bit. As you know, Kia, uh, they're okay, but they're seventh out of 10 teams when it comes to uh, runs scored per game. Another good thing about this under is that Kia is first and runs allowed per game in the entire KBO. And Minwoo uh, Min Lee, uh, he's had a couple of shaky outings here and there, but he got back on track at his last start. He did start against Hanwha earlier this season. It was a 4-3 win uh, for Kia, and we expect another game that'll land around seven runs, and so we're recommending a play on the under. And let's remember that while uh, Minwoo Lee got back on track last time out, he does draw the worst run scoring team in the KBO in this particular start. So uh, we've got two weak run scoring offenses. We've got Hanwha 
Waugh's best pitcher for the most part in Southport on the mound. He's been tremendous in all but one start this season. And again, for Kia, not only do you have Minwoo Lee, who pitched better last time out, uh, but he knows this squad. He held him to three runs his first time against them. And I think you're going to see another lower scoring game here. So we're going to recommend a play, a free pick in the KBO for Thursday morning, under nine between Hanwha and Kia. And if you got an out and you can just shop around a little bit, you might be able to find that nine and a half. But again, we're playing it under nine between Hanwha and Kia. Don't forget about what's going on for me. Got to jump on board by 12.45 a.m. Eastern Thursday morning if you want to uh, join me on that seven-star play in KBO action for Thursday morning. We look to make it seven straight winners. And of course, soccer back in action on Thursday, up over almost $2,600 for $100 per unit betters during this run. It's going to do it for me for today's report. Uh, we will be right back here Thursday night between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time with another free pick from Friday's card. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Thursday in the win column. We'll talk to you again on Thursday night.